I'm going to try and explain how to fly a drone from a moving boat and some checklists and some things that you can do to, to do it well and to avoid some of the pitfalls. So firstly, you need permission. That means you need permission legally and permits to fly, but also because you're on a vessel, you need the permission of the skipper or the captain and they need to know what you're doing when so that if they can, they might want to adjust course or slow or stop the vessel. Now basically, for Tom to fly that thing, it's a very useful tool as well, not only for science, that's what he does, but we also use it for ice navigation. We're in the Antarctic, we can't see ahead of the vessel even from the top of the mast. We can put that thing up and look way ahead, see if we can get through an icy passage. So it's a very useful tool, it's not just a toy. Basically, when, before he goes up on that thing, I want to make sure that everybody on board is aware that there's going to be a drone flight, okay? So I'm going to tell everybody what, what's happening here, give them the sort of the uh, heads up on, you know, don't stand too close in case it doesn't wobbly, because it is sort of a pretty spiky object. And of course, the vessel should ideally be on autopilot and not somebody steering. An autopilot steers much better than anybody can hand steer. So you want to put it on autopilot, he'll tell you what speed to go at, and that's it. Secondly, you want to do all your pre-flight checks as per normal, but in addition to that, you want to think about obstructions. The fundamental difference of flying from a moving vessel is that the moment you take off, the drone is, is flown by GPS. So it will stop even if you don't move it. And so you have to actively move it to keep pace with the boat. So because of that, if you take off here and the boat is moving, you'll hit something in the way. So for takeoff, we want to avoid that. Okay, don't let go, starting up. Don't let go, don't let go, let go. Let go, let go. feel like you can reach out and grab it. And it's going to be coming this way. And uh, right. So as before, I want to bring the drone in so that it's facing the same way I am. So it makes the controls really easy and intuitive. And you want loads of battery. You want at least a third of the battery left. You can't leave this until the last moment. Because basically it's um, you need to have loads of attempts and be prepared to abort. So for that, in your head, you need to think always which way is safe to abort, both for you and the drone. So I'm going to stand here looking at the catcher. I'm going to bring the drone in so that it's facing away from Turn it upside down. There we go. 